Hey guys, welcome back to another video with InfoSec Pat. In this video, what we're going to be doing is installing Google Chrome on my Ubuntu desktop. I'm going to be installing a few applications throughout probably a few days because I'm getting this VM set up and stable with all the applications that I want to get installed. And I figured during the journey, I'll install them and I'll show you guys how to install certain applications while I do it as well. And uh, if you're ready for the video, let's get into it. Thanks. All right, guys. Welcome back. So this is my uh, this is my Ubuntu desktop. So like I said, we're going to be installing uh, Google Chrome, and we're going to be doing this. Oh, this was the Apache. I was just doing some stuff with the lamp from my other video. Uh, I can X out of here. I can clear this. And the first thing I'm going to do, just just to be um, just out of best practice, just the way I do it, I'm going to do an app get update just to make sure all the repositories are up to date. I think I fat fingered that. Yes, I did. Okay, we'll let that do its thing, and then we'll get on with installing Google Chrome on this Ubuntu desktop. All right, cool deal. Clear that. All right, so we can minimize that. And if you guys, you know, I have like the each video, but the Google Chrome one is very simple. It's not like a long process. It probably takes like just a couple minutes. And I'll show you how to install it, run it in the GUI, run it from the command line and all that good stuff. So, you know, this is the LAMP install, the Wireshock install. Like I, I document while I install. So if you guys want any of these, you know, step-by-step -step processes, just let me know, shoot me a message, comment, um, reach out to me, send over your email, and, uh, and I'm more than happy to share. Sharing is caring. All right, cool deal. So let's go to, um, I wanna go to Firefox, and if you don't have Firefox pinned, you can just go to show all applications, and just, if Firefox is there, or just type in Firefox, okay? And I already have it here. So I wanna go to, Google, if I can spell, google.com slash Chrome. Okay, so once you have Google Chrome, you can hit download Chrome, okay? And then it says, please select your download package. We have Ubuntu, so we're gonna, we're gonna download the dot DB, DEB, and let's hit accept and install. Okay, so you can save the file or you can open the file. It's pretty much, I wanna open the file with this software install by default. All right, so I'm just gonna hit okay here. And then once it's done, it's gonna open, hopefully. Maybe it crashed, maybe it blew up. All right. It's weird. All right, maybe that's just, a false positive, I don't know. But um, so now we have Google dash Chrome dash stable. All right, this is how we're gonna run it from the from the command line. So I'll actually copy this and I'll make, just so I don't forget, I'm just gonna take a little note. Um, run in terminal, terminal, I can spell. Terminal. All right, so I'll keep that minimized. So we can hit install here. We'll let this do its thing. And then you have to put your fancy, fancy pass password, your super duper password that you uh, set up when you installed Ubuntu. All right, so sorry for the lighting. I don't know why it looks so dark, but it's pretty bright out. I'm not sure what's going on, but and I have my light on and everything. All right, so we'll let this do its thing. It shouldn't take it shouldn't take long at all. It should take just a few seconds. And once this is done, we'll go ahead and open it. Okay. So that was good. Let's go ahead. We don't want to remove it. Let's go ahead and X out of here. 
X out of this for now. We can just close this. Let me close. All right, so let's go to start, uh, not start, the applications. We see it here, but you can actually put Google and you can open Google Chrome. And then this, you're gonna see this little box. Make Google Chrome your default browser. I don't want that. And automatically send usage statistics and crash reports to Google. I don't want that either. All right, so here is Google Chrome. It is installed. Um, you can go to Google. Now Google Chrome is installed. Now, got it, it's fine. And look, I don't even know. So you can check out the near, you know, the restaurants nearby and all this cool stuff. So if say, for example, you wanna, you know, you X out of here and it's not here. If you want something quick, if you wanna run it from the terminal, I think I probably have it there. So I can paste it because this is the command, Google-Chrome-Stable, hit enter and Google Chrome will open up. All right, so it's a very, very simple, easy process to install. I know um, sometimes with the whole Linux stuff, but Linux came a long way with easing, you know, making it a little easier to install applications and stuff like that. And what I'm probably going to do as well, I use OBS Studio to do my screen recordings and everything. And I may actually install OBS Studio on Linux because I know someone actually asked me to, you know, they were having, they wanted to get into some videos and they were trying to, they use Ubuntu as their primary desktop and they were having some problems. So I told them I'll check it out. So I, I may make a video with OBS Studio and, um, you know, I'll probably do some, like I have, have a list of applications that I want to install on this virtual desktop, like VLC player. There's a few and I'll just make videos as I go. All right. But that's it for today for this video. So if you like, please, if you liked it, please like, subscribe, comment, share with your friends and uh, more videos to come. Take care guys and stay safe with this coronavirus. Thank you.